It's 1992, John Caramack's about to change the world of gaming forever with raycasting, and this budding nine-year-old hacker needs a handle. You guys asked on Discord. I'm finally making a video about it. It's very brief story time, today on Hack 5. Los wie geht's? Das ist deine Dosis von Technolust und ich heiße Darren Kitchen was not the first German I learned. That was actually Mein Leben! And if you grew up in the 90s, Mein Leben! Or if you're a retro gaming buff, then you've probably heard that as well. And hey, guess what? If you're watching this in the month of May 2019, then it is now the 27th anniversary of the world-changing game that was Wolfenstein 3D. And as a nine-year-old kid who spent their time biking around Williamsburg, Virginia with a, a beige box, um, it didn't look as pretty as this one, but you get the idea. I didn't have a bash bunny at the time. I was trying to have a little bit of fun with the phone networks. And, you know, I must say it was amazing how helpful linemen on the side of the street are from Bell Atlantic when you just show a little bit of interest in their craft. You just roll up on them as a, as a little kid and you're like, hey, lineman, is that pair gang? Or is, are you doing pulse amplitude modulation on the T1 or the E1? And they'll be like, uh, E1's Europe, kids, sit down. After that, though, I was getting into the chat realm that was irc.dial.net, pound 2600 and pound freaks, and the age-old conundrum comes to light, needing a handle. I mean, you're, you're born with a name, but you can't use that online and unless you're a YouTuber. So what you gonna do, right? You can't be the master of disaster, ultra laser, or Dr. Doom. That'd be terrible. In 1992, Wolfenstein 3D, get this. Shareware version drops. That was, of course, before published Nickel and Dimed you with DLC and in-game purchases. And back then, basically, you got the first couple episodes uh, or, or you get the first couple of levels in an episode for free. And then you pony up with a check in the mail and they send you floppies in the mail. It was it was good times. So the shareware version of Wolfenstein 3D is spreading like wildfire across bulletin board systems and shared floppies in the pre-mainstream internet era. And, and here's the problem. Intrepid hackers of the time tore into the game files and, and built tools to extract uh, and even edit the sprites, the, the in-game images. This would eventually lead to some really cool total conversions and mods like Barney Wolfenstein 3D or Beavis and Butthead Wolfenstein 3D. Or I didn't have the skills uh, to extract the bitmaps myself, but you know I could use some tools as a, as a nine-year-old script kitty. And I did. I downloaded those tools and I poured into those sprites. And like hundreds before me and likely thousands after, of course, I came across a secret sprite which read, call Apogee, say Yardwolf. And so I did. Uh, you see, id thought it would be really cool to do a little contest inside the registered version of the game. And it's, it's, there's this crazy, insane map, like this maze of, of like hidden walls inside uh, episode two, or no, episode, yeah, episode two, season eight. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, one of the levels, in episode two, there is this just crazy, insane maze, and, and you have to get it just right because walls move and they block other walls from being able to move. And and if you get through it, you'll be greeted with this sprite. And, and so from what I've gathered, there was a contest that was something like, hey, the first person to call Apogee and, and say Ardwolf, and Apogee is the publisher at the time uh, for id Software, and, and they would get a registered version of every Apogee game for life or something like that. Now, of course, as soon as the shareware version of the game drops, it has all the sprite data and all of the other textures and, you know, the sounds and stuff from the register. It all, all the register does is like some more levels and stuff. And anyway, uh, people start extracting those bitmaps and the, from what I understand, the contest was called off. There's actually a really great blog post by Joe Siegler um, from just a couple of years ago. At the time, he was working at Apogee uh, doing phone support. And there's a Good chance as a kid I called him and said Ardwolf, only to be told, no, kid, there's no contest. Uh, supposedly, even up until like 2009, people were calling in. Crazy to think, you know, 17 years later, right? So I didn't get a registered copy of every Apogee game like Duke Nukem or Rise of the Triad or Blake Stone. I had to pirate those like every other kid, but I did get a handle out of it. 
Of course, when starting Hack5 in 2005, I considered using my hacker handle, Ardwolf, uh, rather than Darren Kitchen. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, though. Not like Mubix. Now that's a hacker handle with a good story to tell. I'm going to leave that one for Rob. Now, in just a sec, final thoughts, but first, quick moment uh, to thank our sponsor. Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think Domain.com. So that just about wraps it up for Hack5. I know this wasn't your traditional episode, but I've been knee deep in several projects that just aren't quite ready to share. But I will say we're going to have some really good stuff to drop around DEF CON. Some exciting new things. Uh, we're also going to be talking cross-platform uh, cross payloads here real soon, uh, as well as a special visit from uh, a special guest, Mike Osman, and mad props to Glitch for killing it the other week on Hack5. Uh, dude, I can't wait to see how that robot comes along. I know you're taking it to Circle City Con here soon, so please grab some B-roll. Until next week, I would love to hear the story of your handle in the comments. And with that, I'm not our wolf. I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your techno rust.